Becca, when did you start dancing and why did you start dancing? So I started when I was um, 12, which is quite late, and I've only really been dancing for like three years. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I did acrobatic gymnastics before that and got to the World Championships and got bored, so I decided to do, do uh, dancing. Um, but I, d I just, when I was doing the gymnastics, the way I felt when I was moving, I just preferred the way I felt when I was dancing than when I was actually doing the skills. And I just really thoroughly enjoyed it, so then I went to go and try a ballet class, and then that's when I just fell in love with it, and then I took it from there, and then I was getting scholarships, and I got into a dance company, and led on from, from there, really. Wow, that's fantastic. I can't believe that you've just been dancing for three years. You're amazing. You know the routine that you put together? Was that something that you created? Yeah, I created the, all that choreography myself. And I just, so when I put the music on, my body normally just naturally moves to it. So then it's quite easy to come up with choreography because normally it takes people like weeks to come up with it. Whereas it just takes me a couple of hours, put the music on and just see what happens. And I just enjoy it. That's amazing. How does it make you feel? Because I know that... When I started dancing with Robin um, at the People Strictly, I rediscovered fun and it's just like, it's just, I don't know, it's just like a feeling that sort of runs through your body and it just yeah. makes you feel excited. Well, I just, all my stress and my problems and my worries just go and when the music comes on and I dance, I'm just, I just don't feel any anxiety and I just feel totally relaxed in my own world and that's when I'm most happy when I'm dancing. Would you like dance to be part of your life and a career for you? Oh, definitely. I, I just I love it. I couldn't see myself doing anything else because I'm not really academic. I don't feel like I fit in anywhere else and I feel like dance is my dream and what I want to pursue in life. Um, so you were part of Autism's Got Talent, yeah. which is um, our fantastic show. We're in our fifth year next year mm -hmm. and um, you danced for us and everyone was just wowed. And from that, it's been a stepping stone now, and you've been chosen to dance at Her Majesty's yes. Theatre. How do you feel about that? Oh, I can't wait for it as well, because there's going to be a really big crowd, and it, it's like a well-known theatre as well, so I can't wait to perform on it. And the bigger the crowd, I feel less stressed as well. For some reason, if there's only two or three people like in a dance studio, I feel more anxious doing that than I do when there's a bigger crowd. I think the bigger the better, so I'm really excited to do it. I know, I'm excited to see you perform as well. You know when you're behind stage, because I know that when I used to do tap dancing behind stage, just before I was about to yeah. go on, you get that like real nerves as if like, I've forgotten everything, I don't know the dance, I don't know yeah. what the music is. Yeah. Do you get that feeling? I get exactly the same and I sort of go in my zone as well and I just kind of switch off and then get in my zone and then I get really nervous and then I just go on and then the routine normally goes well because I think the adrenaline helps you get through and nerves is good. If you don't have nerves then I think that you don't care so... Okay, um, one other thing I wanted to ask you was, um, if you were a, a girl or a boy who was interested in dance that has autism, mm -hmm. what tips and advice would you give to them if they were thinking about taking up dance? Yeah, I'd basically say just keep pushing and keep trying because it, the, in the dance world it's quite tough because a lot of people um, would walk all over you to try and get to, to be best but if that's happening then you know that you're good at what you're doing basically so if that is happening take it into a positive and still keep pushing still keep trying and even if you've got learning difficulties you can still succeed and still do well because I've got, got through a lot even with my difficulties and my problems and I can still dance so anybody else can. What skills do you think dance can give um, a child or an adult with autism? Um, it can help with social skills, so helping with speaking and getting to know other people and making friends because I found it hard like in school to make friends but in dance it's a lot easier um, and also if you have got something like autism or something like that that, tends, that can be your passion and your hobby so it's easier to talk about something like that when you're interested in to it so it's easier to make friendships and stuff so it's helped me a lot through anxiety and stuff and that's where I'm happiest. If, is there any, if you don't mind me asking, yeah. um, autism, does it impact it in any way when you're dancing? Um, what difficulties do you have to try and overcome? Mm -hmm. um, like it can be like when I'm in the studio for example and everybody's having fun and they've got the music loud that then can put me into panic and have a panic attack whereas everybody else is just enjoying the music. Um, also social anxiety, just to get to the studio when there's loads of people about, that took a lot for me just to do dance lessons. Like it took me about a year to work up just to go into the studio, whereas before it was like dancing in the house. Um, so it, it does help you a lot when you can then succeed and get them because then you feel proud of yourself and it can really help you to learn in your life. Thank you, that's fantastic. Thank you and good luck with everything. Thank you Anna.